Over the past 10 years, the region of Bermudaran Bay in northwest Bali has been undergoing enormous change, transforming from a poor fishing community to a region dependent on diving based ecotourism. Both traditional fishing and the diving industry rely on an abundance of fish and a healthy marine habitat to support them. These images from the mid-1990s show the thriving reef system of Pumutaran. It was one of the most abundant and beautiful dive sites in Bali. Since 1998, a combination of economic and environmental disasters impacted on the region. Global warming led to corals bleaching and dying, and the economic hardship forced people to use desperate fishing measures to survive. Bombing and cyanide fishing turned the coral reefs off Wutaran Bay to rubble. The fish population was decimated, catches declined, and fishermen had to travel further to find their catch. And tourist numbers fell as dive sites deteriorated. A group of resort and dive shop owners joined forces with Pumutaran village leaders to try to restore the ecology of the bay. Today, Pumutaran is a centre of community initiative unique in Indonesia. The fishermen organise daily patrols in high speed boats. They board any suspect craft and examine the fishing methods. So this is not the, I mean the, the aquarium fish yeah, or bombing fishing. This is the unidentarial fishing, fishing by the line. Just recently, patrols caught several craft fish bombing, confiscated their catch, impounded their boats, and put the bombers in jail. Over the past year, fish bombing in Pumutaran Bay has virtually stopped altogether. And aquarium fishing methods are changing. Instead of deadly cyanide, ingenious local snorkel divers use nets to catch aquarium fish causing much less damage to the marine ecology. Marine biologist Thomas Garo and his partner Wolf Hilberts constructed a mineral accretion reef off Tamansari Resort in an effort to propagate corals and create a new marine habitat. Only one and a half years later, these structures are thriving, covered in healthy corals, and home to schools of fish. These structures are intended to demonstrate how a marine environment can thrive when protected, and benefit the fish and coral population for the entire bay. Fishermen could see how successfully the structures attract fish. It was 
decided by the village to construct another set of structures, specifically for the fishermen, to help increase fish stocks in the bay. Today, all over the outlying reefs of Pumutaran, new corals are growing on the rubble of past mistakes, promising new life to the fishing and resort industries. It's only with continued community vigilance that these reefs can be restored. This total community support is unique to Pumutaran village, but its success will inspire other communities throughout Indonesia to initiate similar schemes, helping to restore the ecological balance and creating a sustainable local economy for future generations.